In this video, I want to explain how you can write parametric equation of a straight line. So this is the data that you have. Uh, this is at time t, time, uh, sorry, t is equal to zero. The coordinates are one, seven. After one second, you've got two, nine, and so on. So let's uh, write the parametric equation of this relationship. So when you're looking at when you're writing a parametric equation, you are writing x and y in terms of t. So here, if you look at x, uh, x is increasing in 1. This is increasing by 1. So we can say, well, x, x okay, this is the scientific way or the mathematical way, x as a function of t is, the gradient is how much? The gradient is 1. So, well, we can say t is t plus 1. The x of t is x plus 1. So or uh, if you look at, suppose, if you put t as 0, x is 1. When t is 1, if you put 1 as t, so 1 plus 1 is 2, so it works. So x as a function of t is t plus 1. Now, well, this is increasing in, in 2s. So here, the relationship can be y as a function of t is 2t plus 7. 2t plus 7. Now, why 7? Because you can see a relationship 7 here, and you got 1 here. So if you put t as 0, 2 times 0 is 0 plus 7 is 7. So this works. When t is 1, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 7 is 9, and so on. So let's put one more. So when you put t as 2, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 7 is 11. So this is a parametric equation of a line. Okay, so yeah, basically, if you look at these numbers, this will give you the gradient. If you want to write this in a y is equal to mx plus c form, you can say, okay, so let me explain how to write this in y. In, so if you want to write this in Cartesian form, can I write, say, x is equal to t minus t plus 1? So this implies if you make t the subject, t is x minus 1. Okay. And again, you can write y as a function of t is 2t plus 7. So taking away 7 from both sides or making t the subject, t is equal to y minus 7 divided by 2. So t is equal to x minus 1 and t is equal to y minus 7 over 2. So comparing these two, I can say y minus 7 over 2 is equal to x minus 1. I'm multiplying both sides by t as by 2, y minus 7 is equal to 2t by 2x minus 2. And adding 7 to both sides, y is equal to 2x plus 5. So this is a Cartesian form or mx plus c form where the gradient is 2 and the y-intercept is 5. Okay, so actually this, these two numbers will give you the gradient. So this is rise and this is your run. By looking at the parametric equation, you can see the gradient. And you can also, by just looking at this, I can say the gradient is y is equal to this number is the change in y and this number is change in x. You can say this 2x plus c. And then you can put one of these point, one of these in this equation. So if you put 7 and 1 in this equation, you can say 7 is equal to 2 plus c. So c is equal to 5. And that is what you got here. Okay, so let's look at this. Is this a different equation? So Again, let me use a different color, yeah? So yeah, this is increasing by 1. And this is increasing by 2. You can pause this video and try to write the parametric equation. So x as a function of t is t plus t plus 10. It's simple because if you put t as 0, x would be 10. When t is 1, x is 11. So basically this is this the x 
the value corresponding to x when t is 0 is this number. Same way, y would be the gradient here is 2. So it would be 2t plus 25. 2t plus 25. Does it make sense? Yes. When you put, when you put t is 0, it's 25. y is 25. When you put t is 1, it is 27 and so on. So let's make t the subject. So let's see whether these two, equa these two equations seems to be different, but uh, they are the same. Okay. So you can have parametric equation of line, which looks different, but they are basically the same. So let me, let us prove that. Okay, so this, if you make t the subject, t is equal to x minus 10. And if you make t the subject here, t is equal to y minus 25 divided by 2. So I can say now y minus 25 divided by 2 is equal to uh, x minus 10. I'm multiplying 2 to both sides, y minus 25 is equal to 2x minus 20. Now adding 25 to both sides, y is equal to 2x plus 5. Basically they are, they look different, but they are the same equation. So let me, I have made a video to write the general form of a parametric equation. So if you look at this in a different way, so x, x as a function of t, can be written as the change in y. So this is, this one is x2 minus x1. This is a change in, a change in x times t plus x1. So this is your x1 and this is your y1. Okay, and y as a function of t, this number is the change in y, which is y2 minus y1 times t plus y1. And in this case, x1 is x1 is 10 and y1 is 25. So can you see the parametric equation? The these two numbers are the same. But this this is 10, 10 and 25. That's x1 and y1. In this case it is 1 and 7 because x1 and y1 is 1 and 7. 